Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about one of my top companies in my watch list and my wish list for 2021 in my auto watch list. We got F and you know like Tesla, Workhorse, General Motors, NKLA, FCAU and FUV. I just wanted to bring in my penny pincher today, FUV, where I think we might be at a bottom at. FUV is like a three-wheel delivery company. And then I noticed just here lately in the news that they have uh, teamed up. They've got this FUV right thing right here. Just the regular FUV. And then they've got the deliverator that can deliver products <clears throat> from, you know, inside the city or outside the city rural or, or rural. And then they've got the rapid responder, which I think is pretty cool too, to get to places where they need to get to fast in fast situations. But here just recently, they teamed up with um, DHL to provide nationwide home delivery to electronic fund utility vehicles. So uh, I'm impressed with that. I think that's gonna be some good news into the future with FUV. Let's talk about the chart a little bit. FUV, that's my VWAP chart. We'll go straight into my Fibonacci and look at the one year here. There's a couple of them I do want to look at, but I have noticed that we have pulled back to what I call a, a triple bottom on the three year with the same, it's a descending pattern. And we have hit the bottom of that pattern right here at 522, right there around 521. If it does go lower, we're going to be breaking this big, huge engulfing candle, which we kind of already have. We did break it once and it did bounce up, but we did have a lower high. So here we are with FUV right now, and I'm thinking just maybe, just maybe we can get down to about that 522, but let's look at the 20 day, just have a little guess at it. We are at a 20 day bottom. We've had a pretty good little sell off. We have had one couple sell offs there where we curled up, and I think we could be hitting the bottom here at five. This is a good buy to me at five, anywhere between five bucks and 539. I think the resistance to break, if we're gonna, you know, really capitalize on it, I think it's gonna be right up around here, the hard resistance right around 580. Let me change this up here. Which is 580 mark, somewhere around there, right around 581, with a low support right around the 514, 515 area. We'll make it right there at 515. So let's take another good look at the at the three month and we've got one more possibility low for a strong buy at 479 I mean that'd be a strong buy so pull back strong buy at 479 I think you can get your first entry right around this area right in here right around 527 then bring it up to 552 to break. If we can get past 552, hard resistance at 581. And then we'll get her back up into this channel right in here, which we're going to think about right around 511, which is 611, which is pretty close to that 20-day EMA on the 20-day chart. And we'll use that as a, as a strong resistance. Anything above that will be a gift. Could take some momentum, some news. I think the float on this is under 25 million. I always like to go to my secret tool right over here to Finviz. Float is 23.5 million, so I'm impressed with that. I think that'll be a nice little catalyst for some of the low floaters to get into it too. But notice the chart. We are at a three-month three, um, three month bottom. And I think we could probably rebound and get back to about mid-range on that chart. Let me pull that, Let me pull up one more chart here. One more fun one. We'll take this to the year. Yeah, I mean, that's way down here. We're not going to go down in that area. Not on the 200 SMA. We're about midway, 50% retracement. So I'm pretty happy with that 515 area for a solid buy. And then try to break that resistance, like I said before, on that 20 day. 
right here right around 581. We get past that, we can get up to newer highs. And I, I could see this thing going up to six, whoops. Let me get this thing on here. I could see it going easily up to this next resistance level at 643. FUV, have a great day. I love stocks. Always remember, you can hit that little Twitter bird right there. It'll bring us to our little uh, I Love Stocks site on Twitter. And you can hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all, do all the time. And also on the website, we do have our stock twits. And you can always follow us on stock twits. And we do appreciate that too. Hit that like button if you like it for future updates. Ring that bell. And I Love Stocks.